Good morning. I was cleaning up my pantry, kind of doing an inventory, and I found these onions. Um, these are yellow onions, and these are sweet Vidalia onions, and I had to throw two away. They were going bad, so I've had these for over a month. So I'm just going to, these four yellow onions, I am going to chop up and put in a freezer bag and stick them in the freezer so they will be ready for whenever um, my husband cooks a recipe that requires a little onion and so those will just be stored in the freezer and these are Vidalia onions we don't they're not available all year round in Missouri and so when we get them I like to buy and then they just sit here <laughs> going bad and so I am going to pickle these sweet onions so I watched a couple of videos read a whole bunch of recipes figuring out how I want to pickle these onions. And the most popular video right now on how to um, can onions is this balsamic vinegar uh, onion jam. I'm not gonna do that. It looks really good. Um, and I've actually, someone has given me a jar before and it's very, very tasty, but balsamic is a very strong flavor and I, I just want a simple pickle. Um, I just want to slice these up. So I'm going to have a jar in the fridge for when I have hot dogs. I can just put a little pickle. Um, I'm so, like a little pickled onion on top, kind of like a relish. And so I found a simple recipe online. It is just going to be a very light pickle. It is eight cups of thinly sliced onions, two tablespoons canning salt, one three-fourth cup of white vinegar, one cup sugar, one teaspoon dried thyme, and I had this, so I pretty much have everything here. I do have everything here, it makes it a lot easier. And so you cook the onions down, and then you can them and you water bath them for uh, 10 minutes. So I'll, I'll do a video through the whole entire process, but it's definitely, there's like no extra flavor, it's just the onion, a little vinegar, and that's what I want. I don't, I just, I just want a simple pickled onion but I don't want it too pickled, you know what I mean? Like, I love, um, you know, pickling jalapenos and pickling uh, cucumbers, but you know, you got that very strong vinegar taste. And so this is only three-fourths cup vinegar. I think it's going to be perfect. I'm gonna give it a try. Um, these are good to experiment on because if I wait much longer, they're not gonna be good. And so, and it's only supposed to make four, where does it say? I swear I read that it was only four half pint jars. Yeah, four half pint jars. So that's not, that's just four jars, this jelly size. So if I don't like them, I'm not making too much of a waste. So let me, first I'm gonna chop these up to put these in the freezer. And I'm gonna hand chop them. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna put them in the food processor or I don't have an onion chopper. My onion chopper is my hands. I like chopping onions. I find it relaxing. These, I will actually use my um, mandalay because I want thin slices, but I don't mind taking a little longer to cut them up because I don't know, I like chopping onions. It's just a favorite pastime. Does that sound weird? But I just find chopping vegetables and onions and just chopping stuff relaxing. So I don't mind taking a little longer doing it by hand. Here are the onion slices. The next step is to toss the onion slices in two tablespoons of pickling salt and then put it in a strainer and let it sit for an hour um, over a plate. I'm assuming to dry out the extra moisture. Onions have a lot of water content and so we want to draw out the water. Um, I am using pickling salt because that's what it requires. Uh, you can use like regular table salt, but um, I think it's iodized, makes the liquid cloudy, and that's why people use um, canning salt. So if you don't have it, you can use regular salt, but I happen to have this, um, so I'm gonna use it. The onions have been sitting for a half hour. Look at all that water. I'm gonna empty that pan real quick of water. I can't believe how much water is in those onions. So, still have another half hour to go. All right, it's been an hour. More water to drain. So now it says to rinse this off, basically rinsing the salt off and then squeeze it dry, squeeze the excess water out. And then while that's going, 
you're gonna bring to a you boil one and three fourths cup white vinegar, one cup sugar, and the dried thyme. So you're gonna bring that to a boil, and then once that comes to a boil, you're gonna add the onions, return it to a boil, and then once it reaches the boil, reduce heat, simmer uncovered for 10 minutes. So let me get that mixture started. All right, so it's coming to a boil. So now I'm going to simmer it for 10 minutes. And at this point, my husband has asked me to never can onions again. <laughs> Our entire house smells like onions. Um, these were labeled Vidalia onions, but they definitely, the last couple made me cry. I didn't cry with the yellow onions. Vidal are normally sweeter. I don't normally don't have a problem cutting cutting them open or having them make me cry. So anyway, I don't know if these were true Vidalia onions or not, but they still taste good. It's just my house smells like an onion factory now. All right, it's simmered for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to spoon it in the jars. And it's the recipe said only four, but I don't know, I think it's gonna do more than four because it's eight cups of onions. Each one of these holds a cup, but then I know that, you know, when you cook it, it gets broken down. So I don't know. I made eight jars to be on the safe side. So let me get that started. All right, I made six jars fit them all perfectly, one half inch headspace. As you can see, there's nothing left in my pan. So put these, cover these with the water, bring it to a boil, and then once it's boiling, water bath can it for 10 minutes. Here are the pickled onions. It's been sitting out for a couple hours. They have all um, popped, so that means they have sealed properly. They're still warm. The onion, it kind of actually looks like sauerkraut, but it is pickled onion. So very happy with how it turned out. I don't know that I'll do this again because, oh my God, the house two hours later still smells like an onion factory. Um, but you know what? I had onions to use up. I'm glad they didn't go to waste. And these are one of these like outdoor canning projects. If you want to can onions, do it outdoors. Lesson learned. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you later.